Uh, just a bit of a gets video on the ballast of this Glenergy brand 12 volt compact fluorescent lamp, one that I got today. Um, problem is, is that this particular lamp was defective. I'm guessing probably bad soldering on the PCB, but went through solder rubbish. Um, because the the problem that this has is that this relay, which forms part of the um, or this forms the preheat circuit, which is also somewhat interesting in that I've never seen a relay used as part of the preheat circuit in a compact fluorescent lamp before. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm or one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is just because that's this is the first time I've ever seen something like that in a total compact fluorescent lamp or any compact fluorescent lamp actually. Usually just used use either instant start with just a cap a, across um, the discharge tube electrodes to eliminate a QRM or something like a PTC or in some really older lamps it's handled electronically in a controller I see in the um, ballast but um yeah and it looks to be controlled by just a simple um, RC circuit and a transistor there and there's also a burnt resistor there which is in series with the lamp electrodes when the um, oh, when the um, lamp is preheating and then of course that resistor just becomes open circuit when the relay opens so there's no um, or no, the, the part of the circuit the resistor's in becomes open circuit when the relay contacts open so it's no longer dissipating power but because something's wrong with the circuit and I'm guessing probably just something like a, a again probably just bad solder joints or something because I did actually get this to turn on properly once which is one of the reasons why I had it open um, but it stopped doing that so again it's just going to be a matter of probably just reheating all the solder joints and I'll probably um, put in a much bigger resistor j just just to be on the safe side and again a couple of uh, just cheap uh, no name um, carbon film resistors but you don't really need anything fancy in this application and um, other than that it looks to be a fairly typical um, DC bowels to just a simple blocking oscillator esque design. Uh, one main switching device that's which does have a fairly substantial heat sink for the amount of power it's probably dissipating that kind of what it's um, that bit of aluminum stamping there next to the transformer. And plus the transformer looks to be a decent size. But uh, then again these are intended for third world electrification pro um, projects that seems to be one of the main um, markets that the company is going after because I've actually had a couple of these lamps that I got oh, back in 2009 I've had them for almost half a decade now but one interesting thing about them is that there's no click so they um, I actually can't recall if those are preheat or if they're instant start, but I think those probably use, if they are preheat, they might use a, a more conventional thing like a PTC. But those lamps are also, hello, like cat, just a cat, because there's the internet and cats are everywhere. And um, then again, those lamps are also 15 watts, and the biggest ones I got in this particular bunch are 11 watts, like this one. Also, one good feature about these is that because they are DC they list the polarity on the side of the um, of the uh, ballast casing and it's done pictorially with the symbols because these are intended for installers who are close to illiterate but they also have a um, shot key diode in series with the um, input just so that reverse polarity won't kill them which is also a good sign. And it's also advantageous in lamps like this, which are um, dual contact medium bayonet based, which naturally is a um, inherently unpolarized type of um, lamp base. But there was a green uh, sticker 
on the lamp base next to the rolled of positive terminal, which I just moved up to the lamp um, ballast housing just so it wouldn't get in the way. Well, probably because this seems to be prone to falling off, I'll just replace that with some pictorial notations. So yeah, not bad for four bucks or less a piece. And probably, especially their smaller ones, I'll probably order a couple more sometime this week. Because they're pretty useful. And cheap. These are the cheapest 12-volt uh, fluorescent lamps I've ever bought. I think previously the best one I got were, um, and the best price I've got was, I think, four for 30 bucks. About, yeah, again, about five years ago on uh, eBay, some Solar Power Jetix branded um, compact fluorescent lamps. So, yeah.